Cool. Hey folks, welcome. If uh, I never know to start talking like right away or like wait like 30 seconds and then and then talk. I'm like, are people joining instantly? It's not a TV show, so I don't know. But <laughs> anyway, hello, hello. Welcome everybody. Hey, there's three or four people, so awesome. Cool. It's good to see y'all. Um, <clears throat> that's really cool. That's really cool that people are popping on right away. Hey, so as always, welcome. I'm Kyle. I'm teaching you how to do side gigs and marketing from your bathroom. So uh, if you've seen any of my videos and you're thinking about trying one and you maybe ran into some difficulty, you got questions or something like that, um, definitely hit me up. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, but yeah, hit me up on those. And if nobody has any questions, uh, I'm just going to start talking a little bit uh, about uh, my last video that I did earlier today, which is just... Um, like a deep dive into some paid ads and uh, affiliate marketing, like not drumming up free traffic like I'm doing with TikTok and YouTube and stuff like that. Um, but I'm going to show you how to jump into paid ads, which is a little bit more uh, advanced, but you can learn that for the seven bucks in the, the course that I promote. And I just kind of want to show you all it in action. So good news, bad news. I hit the, I started this campaign um yesterday morning I believe let's see yeah yesterday morning I started it so what I did is I started a um, a Facebook ads campaign and I will show you let's see if I can pull it up the bad news part of it the good news. I'm sorry let me start with the good news the good news is I had only spent 10 bucks on ads by the time I had pulled in a hundred bucks of commissions so yay awesome tenfold freaking revenue or tenfold profit bad news is because that was my first uh on this facebook account that was my first ad they decided they wanted to double check my information again so i, I had to upload a picture of my license which is what they do they, facebook is facebook's out there facebook's algorithm will disable your ad accounts quite often so something else i'll show you guys here in a minute is just how to right when you start add a couple other accounts ad accounts not facebook accounts but ad accounts and inevitably when they disable one of them you'll have those other ones already backed up so that you can just switch over that's how facebook rolls it's part of the job it is what it is so anyway let me kind of show you in here so i'm going to jump into the one and like i said these are because they wanted my ID, they disabled all the little ad accounts, but it should only take like a day. So am I disappointed that I can't make another 90 bucks right now? Yes, but, you know, it's a business. I mean, think of it in terms of like, you know, you guys working at a job or something like that. You run into things all the time that, you know, oh, that vendor didn't pay us. I've got to go email them. My boss wants me to email them to, you know, retrieve payment or something like that or God knows what other hundred things you run into, you know, at uh, difficulties at your job. When people get start doing their own uh, own business, whether online or whatever, when they start their own business, they hit those little hiccups and they just let it completely deflate them, myself included. You know, it's like, oh, Facebook disabled my ad account. Crap. I knew this wasn't worth it. I knew this wasn't worth doing. Blah, I'm out. But always put yourself in the mindset of this is your new job, this is your new career. So if something like that happened at your job, you wouldn't just be like, oh, I'm out, I quit. I, I, I'm packing up my desk and I'm out, right? You wouldn't do that. You would work through it. And then once you did work through it, you know, your boss would give you accolades, right? They'd be like, hey, you know, Smith freaking knocked this out. He ran into some trouble and blah. And that's commonplace, right? That's commonplace at a job, but that's not commonplace when you're trying to work for yourself. So one of my little sayings that I throw out at people is, if you, if you would do that at a job when you're working for someone else, but you wouldn't do that when you're working for yourself, that doesn't, you know, that's what we all do, but it actually doesn't make sense when you think about it. Why would you respect somebody else more than you respect yourself, right? So if you think about it in those sort of terms, um, Hopefully that inspires you to uh, put a little more, you know, trust and hustle in your own endeavors more than your jobs. Um, yes, true. And thank you, Baca, True, and Scududus. Hello. I believe you were here the other day. 
So hello again. If I'm wrong, I apologize. <laughs> and I got gifts, which I don't know what those do, but um, I absolutely appreciate them. And after this live, I will figure out what presents do. Maybe I can pass them on. I don't know. But I love you. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, but anyway, so yeah, so I'm going to kind of show you guys. I'm going to dive into this Facebook uh, ad account that I started running. And like I said, you'll see it's disabled. But I kind of wanted to just show you like what it looks like um, and make you guys and make it so you guys aren't so afraid of it. Right. So. If you think about like the, the first time you ever like if you're an admin person or yeah shoot if you're a human being you've probably used Excel you've definitely probably used Outlook for email um, Word you know PowerPoint stuff like that you've you all have used computer programs and they were a pain in the butt when you first started them right but then you know after a year or whatever they're part of your life and you just oh yeah you click over there right click that blah blah boom and that's how it works so. I just kind of want to expose you to this for a little bit and just is it is it going to be a bunch of weird stuff sure but you know expose yourself get used to it and over time it's super easy so holly marketing hello hello good to see you awesome yeah and as i said as i always say in these uh if you actually have questions about my videos or anything specific interrupt me otherwise i'm just going to ramble on and do what i do so <laughs> so anyway I'm going to jump into this. So I'm going to switch the ad account to the one that I was working on. Excuse me. The one that I was uh, showed in the video. I had What I had done was I went to clickbank.com. And if you, does this, does that work? I went to clickbank.com. And that's one of the better sources online for affiliate marketing products. Um, and affiliate marketing, if, if you all aren't familiar, um, it's basically becoming a freelance salesman so you can literally go to clickbank.com you can search through some through all their little available offers you can find something that you know is showing that it's selling well something that maybe interests you something like that and you connect with the vendor they give you an affiliate code to promote wherever you want facebook TikTok, youtube wherever and then you just and you know and you just sell that item you take the commission out of the middle and you're and you're out Peace out. All, and then the vendor and the uh, the customer are connecting. They're doing any customer service. They're doing any returns. They're doing any any questions, anything like that. All you do is just take that commission and bolt. So that's where it can really become lucrative if you can find the right formula. That's where it can really become lucrative uh, as a passive income strategy because if you can run ads and make a profit, you know all you're doing is uh, I'll show you right here my uh the clicks basically a customer coming to my website from the ad it's cost me on this one it cost me about 20 cents per click and what i was hoping for i was hoping for a one percent uh conversion rate so out of every 100 clicks i was hoping for just one sale because the vendor the vendor was a pretty good vendor you know they had a lot of uh Gravity is what it's called. It's basically how how quick is that item selling? And they listed their average sale is 33 bucks. So if we just do some quick math real quick, uh, I was hoping for to pay 20 cents per person to click on my ad, right? And I was hoping for a 1% uh, conversion rate. So it would cost me 20 bucks, 20 cents times 100, 20 bucks for one conversion, one sale. On average right so I was hoping to pay 20 bucks per sale the the vendor says their average sale uh, pulls in I get a commission of 33 bucks okay so if I get everything set up and it goes as expected what would happen was would be I would run passive ads and on average pay 20 bucks per sale and with the sale I'll get 13 bucks so throw 20 bucks in get 33 bucks out now takes a while to set it up and all that stuff but once you get it all dialed in and you figure out the right the right you know offer and you figure out the right people to push the offer to it can get really lucrative really fast so i just want to you know familiarize with familiarize this with you guys you know um so it doesn't look as scary i hope that didn't sound too scary um it is just computer programs like you've used before so um you know does it get scary when you know, you're like, oh, how much money is coming in and out? How much math do I have to do? 
I started out on the first campaign at 15 bucks a day. So it runs through a bunch of stuff, runs through a bunch of different ads, different strategies, different um, targeted uh, audiences, but I limit it to 15 bucks a day. So I can come back in three, four times a day and just be like, which ones are good, which ones are bad? And if any of them are getting super scary, I can just close them out. And if I get really scared and I'm like, I don't have another 15 bucks for more, I can just turn it off. But you can start with 15 bucks a day and get some decent results after three or four days. Um, cool. Thank you, Holly. I appreciate that. Um, so let me check out. So I'm going to flip the camera somewhere. Uh, I'm going to flip the camera and I'm going to just show you this. And I got to make sure. Whoops. That's uh, I'm going to show you just kind of what I'm doing over here. So, I don't think there's any sensitive info that I can see. No, there's not. I have to pull this tab out real quick. All right. So, and yeah, see, I, you can't do ads. You're disabled right now. Oh, they got my ID. So, hopefully, they'll get me back in there tomorrow. So, let's see. Where should we start? Um, I'm going to show you guys a different... Ad set real quick. Let's see. I believe it was this one. This is the one that I so I was running a ClickBank uh, campaign for uh, a basically a plans for a small shop, a small like workshop in your garage. So I kind of want to show you. There's three levels right here. So if you can see, I'm gonna hold it for a little bit too. Sorry, that might get you a little bit better up. So there's three levels to a, a face the Facebook ads. Okay, so you've got campaigns. And then you've got ad sets, and then you've got ads, okay? And basically what that is, is basically just like, if you think of it like maybe like an office or a filing cabinet. So like the campaigns is the, you know, the biggest, even just files on your computer, right? So campaigns is the is the, uh, the biggest one, and then it goes into ad sets, and then it goes into ads. So campaigns, currently I don't do too much. I can kind of just show you. Like boom, and I'm gonna hit edit. And I'm just gonna kind of like walk you through super quick um, what it looks like. So campaign name is right up here. Uh, actually, put that a little bit closer and zoom in, maybe even. Does it zoom? I it zooms. Do, 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 do. Okay, so maybe like there we go. Maybe you guys can see that a little bit better. So campaign name doesn't matter too much. Um, I was targeting some woodworking audiences, so I just kind of went with that and campaign one. More information is better than, than not enough if you're just starting out for sure. Um, a lot of this stuff I just skip right past. It's pretty simple. Um, this is huge for me. So it's going to ask you, I believe it's going to ask you like a different budget um, for different parts all the way through it from the campaign to the ad set to the ad. And what I learned from uh, the, the, you know, the class that I you know, obviously push it in my bio link. Um, one of the really cool strategies that I learned was just start at this highest level, the campaign level, and just put boom, daily budget, 15 bucks a day. And so what that does, the, the peace of mind that gives you is no matter how many different ads you create down the line, so you hit, so right now you'll see I'm going to have 15 ad sets with each of those ad sets having five ads uh, accompanied with it. And if I was putting different budgets on all that different stuff, I could very easily get lost, okay? So if I just set it at this at the highest level at 15 bucks a day, you know, um, it's gonna, you know, push through all the other little ads, you know, down the line, and I don't have to worry about it. I just have to, all I have to worry about is this and nothing else. I probably over explained that, but there you go. Uh, anyway, so that's it for this part. I don't do anything else. Um, I did, I think I might have, yeah, no, I didn't do any. I did do this as conversions. Um, you have other choices, if it lets me show it here. Maybe it doesn't let me show it here. Um, conversions is because I want sales. This campaign is for sales. Um, when you're first starting out, one of the things that's recommended is you run a just a quick campaign for likes. Uh, all of your ads are have to be tied to a specific Facebook page. And Facebook doesn't want people just throwing out ads. Facebook wants people to have a page that people are liking, that they're engaged with, and then the ads are connected to those. So 
I did spend when I first opened this ad account about a week and a half ago, I spent 25 bucks running a likes campaign to that page. And that just gave me a little bit of clout. That gave me a little bit of, uh, well, I would say it, <laughs> it protected me a little bit from being disabled, but apparently not enough. But that's the point of it. The more exposure you get, the more likes you get, the more congruency you have between your page and your ads, the more Facebook likes you. Um, this, even though I got disabled, this uh, particular account already has three ad accounts. So if I can, let's see if I can actually jump out and just kind of show you that since I jumped. So that's how we're talking about that. So if you look right here uh, do, 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 on the left, so this account already has three different, let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. These are two business manager accounts. So again, kind of the filing cabinet system. Um, each one of these business manager accounts, this one has one ad account. Oh, you can actually see that tiny text. There you go. One ad account, one ad account. So get those up early. Get your clout going. You can add your extra business manager accounts. And then when you get disabled, it's not a big deal. You just jump onto the other account. So that's, uh, yeah, Holly, no, that's like super smart to do. Do it early if you can. Um, the earlier, the better. And then just every few days, if you know, oh, I got another 50 likes, like pop back in here and see if you can add another ad account, see if you can add another other, uh, business manager account. Definitely something to uh, to look at. That should save you, generally speaking. Uh, all right, so I'm going to pop back over here. So again, like I said, campaign is the biggest bucket. And then, you know, like a file cabinet system, we go down to ad sets and then ads. So like I showed you, I think I showed you pretty much everything in the campaign. So it was pretty simple. So now we're gonna to go to ad sets. And now what I did here is do, 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 do. So my ad sets, I went and targeted uh, 15 different, uh, not niches, but 15 different interests that I found had decent audiences that I believe, you know, for my small shop ad, which so my small, the small shop ad that I'm promoting here is basically like, it's a, an online education, you know, uh, it's online education to build a small shop, a small, small handyman shop in your garage. So it's all the plans and how to, you know, uh, integrate it really well, get a lot of stuff stored in small spaces, stuff like that. And so when going through it, the vendors actually provide you with a lot of information. They're like, hey, this ad sells really well to woodworking folks, or, you know, this offer sells really well to uh, do-it-yourselfers. So I kind of took that and I, t and I went through Facebook and they give you a bunch of suggestions. So kind of what I did here is I named them all the, the targets for me. So you can kind of see it up front. So this, this first ad set is targeting Milwaukee tools. And uh, probably most people don't know what uh, Milwaukee tools are, but I just happened to work in the electrical uh, distributor industry before this last year. And so I just know that Milwaukee tools are very popular with um, the professional side of those sorts of industries, those contractor industries. So um, what I'm what I'm doing here with these targetings is I'm not trying to spend my money targeting folks that are maybe they just click like, oh, yeah, I like do it yourself sometimes. And they clicked it. Um, I'm trying to look for folks that are a little bit more involved in the industry. You know, maybe they're a full-time carpenter, something like that. So uh, this carpentry down here, this one that I did here, this is targeting the carpentry uh, carpentry folks that are actually employed or working in the carpentry industry, as opposed to just someone that said, you know, clicked on, I like carpentry as an interest. So those are the types of things that, you know, I think about and that, that I try to, you know, really dig into. Because obviously you want the most bang for your buck. And you want to try to target the folks that are most likely to buy your products, right? So just spend a little time, you know, brainstorming that sort of thing. And like I said, the vendors also will um, give you a ton of information on their sites. And while I say that, I'm actually going to, let's see if I can show you that. I want to show you, not that, do, 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 not that, not that. I'm going to show you um, the, so this is a, what was I showing you? Oh, the small shop, that's right. So I'm going to show you the small shop 
the small shops uh, vendor support page and just kind of show you how much support these folks actually give you so you're really not all on your own. Um, sorry about all this Google Sheets and stuff like that. Um, do, 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 do. All right, so this is the affiliate page for the small shop. So this is so that offer that I'm doing with ClickBank. This is a bunch of free information that they give you to help you sell it. They want to they want you to succeed just as bad as you freaking want to succeed. So let's just open that up. That's not right. Video Creek. What the crap is that? Hang on. I thought I copied that link. Perhaps I did not. Affiliates page. Boom. Link copy to clipboard. Control V, right? There we go. All right. Okay, so this is the affiliates page to basically just like help you out. They're like, okay, you know, promoting, blah, blah, blah. I don't care about the nonsense there. I'm looking for info is what I'm looking for. So do, 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 do. Average order value, 65 bucks and 7% conversions. Obviously take that with a grain of salt. Everyone's, you know, uh, everyone's results vary, but that's nice. Um, front end of expanded to two percent refund rates, that's very nice as well. All right, so what I'm looking for though, where's all your sales crappy jerks? I thought this one had one, it's good stuff. Um, oh, here we go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, email swipes. So, if you want to do follow up emails, they've got emails for you that they've theoretically tested and are actually pretty good for you. Um, I am looking for Images and banners, and then there's videos as well. Do, 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 do. Images and banners, web banners. Okay, so here you go. So like, here's some video stuff. So you don't have to make your own videos. You don't have to make your, you know, hop on Canva to like make your ads or anything like that. Most of these, um, these offers, these ClickBank offers, the freaking good ones that are actually selling stuff, are gonna have all this sort of ad copy made out for you. And if you saw, like I said before. This one even had some email swipes. Let's just let's peek at those and actually see how good they are. I'm not doing follow-up emails for this campaign, but I mean it's it's worthwhile just kind of show you how much support these folks give you, and you know how how much you don't have to do this yourself. All right, so oh geez, look at this. This is nuts. Download for you can just download it as a cut and paste it. Uh, Four-part sequence. If you're on mailing list, use a seven-part sequence. Uh, if you're using a free guide for your own mail list. Yeah, so that's nice, dude. Yeah, this is all made for you already. Obviously, you have to apply some hustle and some work into it, but they do. St I think they do so much more for you than people realize. Um, so that's freaking awesome. Um, all right. So, yeah, there's me trying to uh, get my account unsuspended. That was fun earlier. Uh, okay, so... Anyway, I'll just kind of jump back into here. So uh, where we were at was we were at the ad sets, right? So I said, like I said earlier, campaigns is the biggest uh, pool. And then we narrow it down to ad sets and then we narrow it down to ads. All right. So what I'm doing in this ad set right here, what I'm concentrating, uh, that way you can see that tab highlighted right there. Uh, this looks like a good product to promote. Uh, I believe it is. It's done. I only got one day out of it, but... I agree that it's it's a it's a definitely a nice product to promote. Um, if you want to, did I, I still on there? Um, if you were kind of looking at this sort of thing when you're in ClickBank, so this is ClickBank.com. This is where I get those sorts of things. Uh, and battery. Let's see. Why did that? There we go. Okay. So the this is a different one that I'm promoting right here this new battery reconditioning. Um, so what you want to look at, just a quick little, since you kind of brought it up and I'm trying to listen to you guys instead of, instead of just ramble. Uh, so if you look right here, right in the middle there, okay, so the average dollar per conversion is 53 bucks. Okay, so that's great. So if we can get, you know, like I said earlier, if we can get 20 cents per click and we can get um, even just a 1% conversion rate, we're going to be at, you know, 50, 53 cents per click profit, or I'm sorry, revenue, right? So we would profit 33 cents per click if we're getting a 1% conversion. 
hopefully we're getting more than 1% conversion. But I just set the bar low when I'm kind of analyzing these just to kind of see, you know, does it make sense, does it not? Um, and you can see the gravity is how much it's selling. 132, I, I'm not crazy strong on gravity, but from what I've learned, if it's over 50, uh, those are the products that you're looking for. So 132 in my you know limited scope uh, is a winner. And this is obviously, this product I currently actually know a lot of people have had success with. So that's why I've jumped on it as well. So um, a little anecdotal evidence for you and then a little not anecdotal evidence. Uh, anyway, so check this. So this is back to the ad sets here. So what we're doing, like I said, is we're target each one of these I use to target a different audience, okay, to see how these different audiences perform against each other. And so I've got 15 different ones. So I've got Milwaukee Tools. I'm talking family handy managers, home improvements, repair services, carpentry, uh, do-it-yourself do, do projects, survival was recommended by the vendor, I believe. Um, Klein Tools, I came up with, that's another tool set that is a tool uh, vendor that's used by folks construction in, in the industry and stuff like that. Um, like I said, I'm trying to get folks that are working in the industry, not just appreciative of the industry. I want the the uh, the folks that are really um, into it, not just the the folks that you know, click on the picture and say like, you know. Uh, Rockler, I didn't know what that was, but that was recommended by the vendor and a couple others, okay? So that's how I set up my ad sets. Now, once we dig into the ads, and I'm just, let me just do one, not so you get overwhelmed here. So I'm just going to look at the Klein Tools ad set right here, okay? This is just the Klein Tools ad set. So all I've done is I selected the one ad set. So you see that's one selected there on the top, and the five ads. So how this works is all I'm doing with these ads, I'm not changing any uh, audience targeting, okay? I'm just slightly altered them. Each one has a different picture, okay? So that's the main thing. Ad sets one through four, or I'm sorry, one through five. The main thing is they just have a different picture on them. Now, the other variables that I that I can add to these is when you go into each one specifically, what you can do, let me scroll down here just a bit. Do, 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 do. Come on, buddy. There we go, okay. So like I said, each one of these, I changed the media. I changed just the picture. So that's what I did for each one of those. And you can just copy these, right? So when I first set these up, I just made the first one, and then I hit duplicate times four, made the other one, and then I just popped in here, changed the picture, and moved on, and saved it and moved on, okay? Now, when I first set them up, what you can do is each one of them, you can put primary text, and then you can put headline, and then you can put description, okay? And most folks just put one. But what you can do is to avoid ad fatigue, to let your you know your campaigns run longer. If you put more than one primary text in here, and then you put more than one headline, and then you put more than one description, what Facebook will do as it runs your ads, it's gonna to try to optimize all this stuff for you. So it's gonna send your your um, your same picture over here, your same picture right there, right? With, it's gonna randomize the primary text against random headline against random description. So you can again, you just see, you know, you've got a ton more possibilities of how your ad's gonna look just by Facebook messing with these. And so maybe, you know, maybe this first primary text works better with those folks uh, that like Milwaukee tools. So Facebook kind of figures that over, out over time. And maybe this third primary text right here, maybe that works, you know, maybe it has a higher conversion rate slightly with do-it-yourselfers. So Facebook kind of optim optimizes that. So this stuff right here, I'm not creating a bunch of different ads for. Facebook will Go ahead and optimize these for me, mess around with them. And on top of the optimization, realize, like I kind of touched on a second ago, it's going to avoid ad fatigue, right? So if I just had one picture, one primary text, one headline, one description, the third time that somebody kind of passed by that ad, they're not reading it anymore, okay? We want to have, give our ads a little bit of longevity. So Facebook has a bunch of different options. 
the customers, if I if I pump more money into that particular niche, if I pump more money into you know the do-it-yourselfers, they're not going to get ad fatigue. So maybe I actually get a sale by exposing someone to my ads three or four times, but they hit a different picture, they hit a different primary text, they're a little more interested, and that's way better than them being a little more bored because they saw the same thing. Okay, so now. Um, you might have figured this out already, but I'll kind of show you the uh, huge strength of this uh, Facebook ad campaign. So I'm going to close this. Okay, so what I've done, right, is I've had, so I just showed you, I created these five ads with five different pictures, and within each one of these ads is is copied those, you know, those three, what did I say, primary text, description, headlines. So on top of just rotating through those, Facebook's already always excuse me, also rotating through these five pictures. So it's getting a ton of different content to push out to people, okay? So now, if you hadn't figured this part out yet, so see, I had only one ad set, uh, can you see that? I only had one ad set collect, or selected, okay? So if I go back to ad sets, and I don't only select one, I don't only select one, you'll see that for this campaign, and I, I'm sure this was self-explanatory already because you all are smart folks, but for this one campaign, I'm running 15 times five. So what is that, 75? Let's see, 15, 50, yeah, 75. So I'm running 75 different ads, okay? It's, it's five pictures times 15 different audiences. And then within those 75 ads, I also got, like I said, 20 times, uh, different, different, you know, descriptions and primary text for Facebook to rotate through. So what does this mean? This means this is just an insanely large split test that I can just push out to the internet uh, for tens of thousands of people, people for a very small budget, and I can get really specialized and figure out, you know, which ones are working and which ones ain't. Um, and it's super quick to figure that out. And so I'm going to show you kind of what happened before they put me on hold for a bit. So let's see if I can scroll this over. Okay, so can you see this? Right, I'll get a little closer here for you all. Oh, Holly, have you been working easy better? That's cool. Yeah, I, I just set it up. Um, like I was bored earlier because my... Yeah, it was disabled, so I set it up. But um, what? Okay, so what you can see before they hit me up this morning and I wanted to see my ID. So I've spent a total of ten dollars and forty-four cents on this campaign. So I had a limit of fifteen bucks per day. It used ten ten bucks. It's probably about two thirds of the day. It may or may not use it all. Don't worry about it. Um, it's gonna optimize it. So and then you can see right here what I got for that ten bucks was fifty-nine clicks. Okay, total over the the whole thing. So let me see, actually, if I can find a little bit better of a uh, story for you so you can kind of see all the diff. There we go. Okay, this is a little bit better story here. So you can see, and let's see if I can zoom in on this. Eh, this isn't going to be that great, but if you can kind of see along the left side of the screen right there, you can see what each of those I've spent so far. So you see, I spent 11 cents, 42 cents, 52 cents, and these are all those different targets, okay? And then I'll kind of just show you. So uh, so I spent 42 cents on woodworking, and it got me three clicks. So what is that? Not quite 15 cents a click. Um, and then where's a bad one? Let me try a bad one. Do, 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 do. There's not really a ton of bad ones. 77, what was that, 76? 76 cents a click, or total, got me four clicks, so uh, just under 20 cents a click. Uh, anyway, point being, I'm kind of rambling on and getting a little technical, but 10 bucks, 59 clicks, so just under 20 cents a click is basically what this worked out to for my first 10 bucks. Um, that's right where I want to be on the clicks, um, so that's great. Here. See that? Do, do, do. Just kind of yeah, that's stupid. Anyway, um, so what that did was so basically I've, I've got about 20 cents a click, right? So now let me take you to 
ClickBank where I got that offer and just kind of show you what happened on this. Facebook does not track that well, so you always want to have more than one place to track because Facebook currently says, even though I believe I set it up correctly, uh, Facebook says I don't have any sales. But that's not true because ClickBank shows that I have four sales. And ClickBank is the one that pays me, so we're going to go with that. <laughs> anyway. Um, do, 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 do. Well, again, where's my dashboard? Where's this my dashboard? Do, do, do. I don't know, that doesn't show you anything. The dashboard around here somewhere. This one? Uh, that's the affiliate marketplace. This guy. Oh, you know what? Let's do this vendor reporting. I think this will actually show it. Or not. Anyway, you did see that $101. And I'll just tell you if I can't find it that the $101, take my word for it, is just from that one ad campaign. And it, uh, it was based on four sales. So... I had the 59 clicks that I showed you, and I got four sales for an average of, I was hoping for 33 bucks a sale, that's what the vendor was showing. I actually, you know, four divided, 101 divided by four is 25 bucks a sale. Good enough, because four sales out of 59 clicks is closer to 7%, not uh, 1% like I was hoping. So obviously I'm getting seven times what I was hoping for, it's much better. Why does this not show my flipping reports? This is ridiculous. How am I brain farting this hard? I guess it's about time to go to bed. Anyway, um, I don't know why this isn't showing it. Oh, here we go. Did I just come up on it? No, I didn't. Anyway, if you don't trust me, uh, I just made the video and did a bunch of screenshots. Uh, I promise that happened. <laughs> anyway, uh, cancel that. I'm just going to flip this screen back around real quick. There we go. Um, did that... There was questions. Uh, Holly, do you target only U.S. or other countries? Well, uh, I did the... This one, I did the, the big five. So I did uh, U.S., Canada, Australia, New Zealand, U.K. Uh, and I did that by default. Um, I want to say that that battery one... Uh, Oh, yeah, customer demographics. I did that before I peeked in here. Did that, is this, oh, I'm sorry, this is a small shop. Um, but check check the, um, the affiliate pages. I, I can't remember which one, which one it was, the small shop or the battery. But one of them actually said uh, the UK conversions were their 10th rated country. And uh, I can't remember one of the other countries that I didn't use very often. It was actually ranked like number three or something like that. So do check those. Um, they do make a little bit of difference, but yeah, I was being lazy and I just did the top five. So that is what happened. Uh, so I should probably go check that actually later. Um, but yeah, no, I'm going to jet. I hope you all got a ton of information. Um, there's a new Q and a feature. If you check my bio page, you can actually hit a Q and a, if you don't want to leave a comment on a specific thing, or you just want to have a general question that you want to bug me with. So, um, hit those up and yeah, that's it. I'm here to help you guys. Everything that I can give you out of my brain is free. Love you all. Like, subscribe, join my business builder challenge because that's where I learned all this ridiculous stuff. It ain't that hard. Um, I know it maybe seems complicated, but like I said a million times, you know how to use a computer. You know how to use PDF uh, editors. You've learned Excel. You know, you ain't a whiz, but you can do it and you can do this. It's computers. Don't be scared, and I've got your back. So anyway, uh, have a wonderful night. Thank you for the uh, the praise, and yeah, no, thank you guys. I'm, I'm here for you, and I'm just, uh, this is fun, right? I, I, like, I like sharing this stuff, so ask me all the questions you got, and I will see you tomorrow at 11 p.m. if you choose to see me again. All right, I'll take it easy. Have a good night.